from the Multidict.net website, you have access to three language learning tools, Clillstore, Wordlink and Multidict. Multidict is a dictionary service which allows easy consultation of monolingual and bilingual dictionaries. It can also make many bilingual pairings which you won't find anywhere else. Wordlink lets you convert web pages by linking every word to online dictionaries. Wordlink makes use of Multidict. Clill Store is an online collection of language learning units featuring many different languages. It helps learners read texts by linking every word to Multidict. Understanding how Multidict works is key to getting the most out of Clill Store and Wordlink. So let's have a look at Multidict. At first glance, Multidict looks very simple. Let's type in a word like transducer and then use the drop-down menu to tell Multidict which language it is. As you can see, Multidict covers many languages. I'll select English. Then I click Go. You will notice some activity in the window. If I wanted a definition of transducer in English, I would select English in the To menu. But for now, I want Multidict to help me translate transducer into Spanish. So I click on the To drop-down menu and select Español. Multidict will then try to look up the word from English to Spanish using the dictionary which is most popular among users. Multidict has 24 dictionaries that cover English to Spanish. If you know of a good dictionary which is not used in Multidict, then please click the About link on top of the page, where you will find information on how to send us your suggestion. It is important to select the dictionary which is best for your purpose. Each dictionary has strengths and weaknesses. If a dictionary does not have the word you are looking for, then just select another dictionary. You can select another dictionary by clicking the Dictionary drop-down menu, or just click on one of the dictionary icons. The example we are using, transducer, is a technical word, which is not found in all dictionaries. So I'll try some of the other dictionaries by clicking the icons. One of my own favourite dictionaries is the IATE dictionary. It is probably the best for regulations and legal texts, but it is also good for technical terms. IATE separates terms by context. This helps you choose the most appropriate one. In Multidict, I can also enter word combinations like look for or look after. Let's see how Multidict is used in Wordlink. I go back to the Multidict.net menu and select Wordlink. In Wordlink, I can convert a web page so all the words in the text are linked to online dictionaries. The first step is to tell Wordlink the language of the page. I select English. Then I write the web page address, in this case cnn.com, and click Go. I can now click on a word and look it up in Multidict. I can only look up one word at a time. If I need to look up word combinations like look for or look after, then I have to type in the missing words in Multidict. 
As you can see, Multidict remembers which dictionary you used last time and the language pairing you were working with. I can change the language and dictionary at any time. If I click on a link, then the next page will also be converted by WordLink. If I want to look up a word which is already hyperlinked, then I need to select Remove Existing Links and click Go. Let's see how Multidict is used in Khalil Store. I go back to the Multidict.net menu. The Multidict.net menu offers two options for Khalil Store. To go to language learning units in Khalil Store, click the blue arrow pointing at Students. The first step is to select which language to learn. I'll select English. In some internet browsers, one has to click Submit after selecting the language. Now I can only see a list of units for learning English. To the left of each unit title, I can see the language difficulty of that unit, ranging from A1 to C2. A1 is the easiest level. I can select a language level to make it easier for me to find units that may match my level. I just click the buttons to see what is available at the different levels. The next column shows if the unit makes use of media, like video and sound. Like in a database, it is possible to search and sort the list of units. If I click media, the list will be sorted according to the type of media used in the units. If I'm looking for a specific unit, or trying to find units on a particular theme, I can enter a search word in the Title field, or Text and Summary field, and then click Find. I can also add columns if I want more information about the units, like who made them, or how many words a unit has. I can remove a column by clicking the red X. Or restore everything to the default options by clicking Clear All or Restore. Let's select the unit titled Wiring a Typical British Plug Intermediate Level. I can now play the video. Wiring a plug. Instructions. This is a typical British 13 amp plug. And click on words that I want to look up. This text is a word for word transcription of the video. In the Multidict field in the right hand side window, I can see the results of my consultation. I can only look up one word at a time this way, so I have to type in additional words in Multidict if I want to look up word combinations like look for or look after. Some units have links to other pages or exercises. This unit links to exercises, and I can also download a handout. 